Yeah, I'm working from home, and I could still hear the booze across Broncos country on this one, and it's got nothing to do with the Alabama cornerback. I mean, you look at the board. Justin Fields, the quarterback, was still there. Mac Jones, the quarterback out of Alabama, still on the board, and yet Denver doesn't go quarterback. They go cornerback where they have a ton of depth already at that position thanks to free agency. I guess maybe we can call it the Aaron Rodgers factor, fingers crossed. If you do trade Green Bay and get the MVP, then you don't need those rookies. Now, if you don't trade for Rodgers, the Broncos may regret this pick, but let's be positive and hear from Denver's second straight number one pick out of Bama. I mean, it's a very stacked defense. Um, I can't wait to compete with those guys at a high level each and every day. Um, you know, I'm just very excited. And, you know, I think when you look at it, all, uh, when it's all said and done, we're going to be uh, the number one defense in the NFL when it's all said and done. Mike Kliss joins us now from Broncos headquarters. And Mike, explain it to us all week long. In fact, all offseason long, we've had heard about uh, the Broncos possibly drafting a quarterback with their top pick, but they go cornerback instead, Mike. Now it can be said, Rod, when they got Teddy Bridgewater yesterday, George Payton and the coaching staff, all everyone that he was talking to, they cooled on taking a quarterback with the number nine pick. If you noticed, no one jumped up ahead of the Broncos at four, five, six, seven, and eight to take Justin Fields and, and Mac Jones. I don't think the Broncos really felt comfortable with those quarterbacks as top 10 picks. They like Teddy Bridgewater. They think his uh, solid leadership and mentorship is what this young offense needs. And also, George Payton was true to his word of saying he liked Drew Locke. He wanted to stick and give Locke and his potential and his talent one more year in a system to see if he does grow here in 2021.